So this spreadsheet here is just a simple 30 mod chart. Uh, the first row is the eight prime channels or the eight prime seeds and uh, these are also known as the spiral channels or the eight prime spirals. Basically it's a 30 mod formula which is created by the first three primes being two, three, and five. Two times three times five is equal to 30. That sets up the field of play or the field of uh, <coughs> action for where all the primes in the infinite universe above five will exist. The prime seeds are the first eight primes above the number of five. So seven, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31 are the prime seeds. 30 is the mod. These rows on the left are just the uh, integers from 0 out to 31. So this creates 8 times 32 potential mods. 0 to 31 are all the mods that we're going to analyze. 32 times 8 is 256 potential prime numbers. So before I theorize this, in the 1990s, uh, conventional wisdom on primes was that primes were random, there was no pattern. Well, the eight prime sp spirals, or the eight prime channels, or the Doni primes, the Doni prime sp spirals here, uh, proves that primes are not random. There's a clear distribution pattern. So the theory is that every prime number, in this case out to... Uh, 961 since we're going uh, 30 mod 0 all the way out to 31 mod uh, is going to be a potential prime number that gives us a field of 256 potential primes now if we found a prime outside of these eight channels then the theory would be wrong okay well the theory is correct there's not a prime above five that exists outside of these eight channels so you take 30 numbers and you only have to look now at 8 of the 30 numbers, which are all based on 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31. Now the next chart here shows the actual primes in this field. And what these gaps are, are these are numbers that are in the prime field, uh, potential field, that are not prime. So what's remaining now are the actual primes. So we went from 256 numbers and we end up uh, with a large amount of primes. Now this next chart here is uh, a whole different theory uh, which I call the super primes. Uh, again it's 30 mod. We got our seven seat, I mean our eight seats, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31. So we have our eight channels of distribution, but instead of having every integer here, we're only going to focus on the integers that are prime. So now this is a 30 mod where the mod is prime instead of any integer. And what this does, this sets up a, a clear distribution panel uh, for primes that are special primes, meaning that they're created with a 30 mod algorithm using as the integer another prime. So instead of 30n where n can be any integer, it's 30n where the n is a prime number. Now when we do this, we set a dividing line here. You can see this little diagonal that almost equally distribu distributes these numbers. Okay? Uh, so these clear diagonals are the basis of what uh, are seen in the Ulam spiral, which isn't new, that's been around since 1963. Uh, but basically these real strong diagonal lines are, are what people are visualizing when they actually create a picture uh, for the Ulam spiral. Okay, and again, it, it's more easily visualized how clear this pattern of distribution is with these diagonal lines. Uh, if we only take prime integers in the 30 mod formula. So I call these super primes and if we're going to go out here and analyze 
a whole bunch of primes <laughs> that are based on primes. Uh, we're going to put every prime number on this integer column from 7 to 97. So th these are all prime numbers here on the left side. And again, uh, it creates a potential field of uh, 8 columns times 22 primes, which is 176 potential prime numbers. But you can see that some of the numbers are missing these gaps. And what the gaps end up leaving us is 96 actual primes out of 176. So we have 54.54 repeating decimal are primes in this example where we go out to number 97 as a prime. So we're analyzing 22 prime numbers in the 30 mod formula. And if we go back to the first eight primes, that's when the real clear pattern of distribution of these super primes uh, is seen. So again, uh, 30 mod is just real simple. There's eight potential prime channels or eight prime spirals. And this creates a very narrow field of potential primes. And it was recently tested in uh, Pi Primes, which is a primality program written in Python. And that's why there's a lot more interest now in these math theories. Since in 2012, when Pi Primes came out, it tested all the conventional prime algorithms. And uh, up until uh, this actual 30 mod uh, equation was tested in Pi Primes, uh, the fastest prime generator for basic prime generation was always the sieve of Eratosthenes, which is over 2,000 years old. So when you look at the work in Pi Primes, uh, you'll see that all the newer prime uh, generators like wheel fractionization, various other uh, prime uh, algorithms, they, they didn't do that well in Pi Primes. Uh, the big prime generator, Eratosthenes, uh, created a lot of primes very quickly. And the only algorithm that beat it was the uh, eight prime spirals. Now, when you look at the work of uh, Pi Primes, and in 2012, he called it the Croft Spiral because uh, Steve Croft, uh, a former Microsoft uh, employee, uh, had created in 2010 a, a, a website about what he thought he uh, had found, but it was already uh, 15 years old by the time uh, Steve Croft came up with his website. So now I'm explaining the theory since in the 1990s I discussed this you know in my uh, mathematic paper known as the Anisa prime formula and a few other prime uh, papers after that because uh, I also found various sequences that are related to these sequences in the uh, twin primes, Mersenne primes, Fibonacci primes uh, you know there's a lot of patterns that I discussed way back in the 1990s uh, that some mathematicians now are starting to realize. But the main thing here is if we just analyze primes that come off of prime integers in the 30 mod algorithm, the distribution panel uh, pattern is beautiful. You can see this strong diagonal here, this strong diagonal here, uh, this group of numbers here, here, here. So when you see numbers like this here, and they're charted out in a picture like the Ulam spiral, which I'll put up uh, in this video. Uh, this is why these patterns emerge. Now, the other issue about these patterns is uh, ECC, which is a form of uh, crypto uh, developed by Lenstra and further expanded by Koblitz, uh, has been most likely uh, infected with uh, seed keys where special relationships between the seed keys are known by the groups that are distributing it and primarily uh, the CCC crypto is coming out of NIST 
which is a funded project by the NSA. Now the Snowden documents are uh, saying basically ECC crypto is uh, cooked. What that means is they're creating seed keys with these special relationships that you can see in the uh, 30 mod uh, algorithm uh, and that is how they're understanding the numbers that they're issuing as seed keys have special relationships. So now uh, the issue is, uh, you know, what what's the hidden formula that the NSA used uh, to create these special relationships and uh, a consensus is emerging that it's uh, a prime algorithm in an integer algorithm that the general public is not aware of. Now some people question, well why didn't I release this information in 1995 when I did my original paper uh, through academia? Well, uh, in that era, the NSA basically had a stranglehold on academia where if you were theorizing work involving crypto or even prime numbers, because at that time RSA used uh, basically uh, big prime uh, numbers in their cryptography that it had to go through the NSA so something that could potentially damage uh, cryptography would never have been published in any uh, academic uh, paper uh, so it was distributed via the internet via my websites it was put in uh, uh, newspaper ads it was put in uh, federal uh, court records where I was being harassed at the time by the federal government for my work um, and you know there's there's no real issue uh, on to who first theorized 30 mod 60 mod 90 mod prime algorithms it was me in the 1990s uh, now the issue is uh, since pi primes has created uh, a mathematical uh, test <coughs> showing how powerful this uh, new formula is to create primes well you know the importance of 30 mod prime is now understood. Also, the issue of if primes are random uh, has been settled. Primes are not random. They all exist above the fifth number five in one of eight distribution channels. So the eight prime spirals control the infinite universe of primes. And um, from this moment on, a lot of people will be looking at primes much differently than they have in the past when this information wasn't general knowledge. Exactly how the NSA uh, cooked their seed keys for ECC? Well, it involved uh, knowledge of special relationships between numbers.